For four from deep the other night against the Tommies, but he's 0 for 2 so far today. Apple finds himself all alone, and Eric Peterson wants a timeout. Right? Thursday without what Javon held, especially in that OT. Mayo. A couple of triples on the board already for Zeke Mayo. See, they're really gapping Holt there for USC, daring him to shoot the three. And Hill does what he's supposed to do, come in the game, make an open shot. He got a little greedy with that pass down the floor that time. Kyle had to go all the way up, use all of that size and length he's got to keep it in bounds. But the Kyle's able to make a pay on this set. Stewart lost his footing, able to keep the dribble, keep that possession for the Coyotes. Nifty ball handling, and it leads. Yeah, he's such an aggressive player offensively. He is tough to slow down one-on-one. -on -one. And William Kyle, the third. Allowing June to get a piece of the paint. Here's that battle on this end now. Kyle's had the early edge, and he scores again. Six of the board for Kyle. Apple gets behind Boone, just uses that strength. Too much of it there, though, but he works, gets it back, puts it back. Apple with four. Apple, what a move around Boone. Got him leaning the wrong way. Not a lot of whistles in this first yeah. <laughs> nine plus minutes. Well, you know, part of it's both these teams are pretty good about not fouling defensively. This of Luke Apple, Bubs Alvarez. Held it, tried it. Mims long rebound and a put back three. After yeah, South Dakota. This year again in limited action due to that injury that kept him out of the entire non conference slate. Yeah. Against that length. Now, yeah, William Calford becomes a lot less effective when he has to shoot like that. Barnhart comes over and blocks what looked to be an easy finish inside for Chu. So five and a half to play first half. There is one for Charlie Easley. For South Dakota State out there, veteran guy that doesn't get rattled, and he'll just get you those kind of buckets when you need one. Hill hit a couple from that left wing, Brad. He wants to find minutes for that guy with what he brings to the team on the offensive end in particular. Quickly, right back comes Easley. Back-to-back -back buckets for him. Big three-point looks on that exact play here Thursday night. Stewart into the paint for Brack. Wow. Good strength there to hang on to yeah, that basketball. Good. And Brack gets his first field goal. It's inside to Moores. Yeah, their attack in the paint has been good throughout Summit League play, and it's been exceptional today. Steven Kramer with a nice take. South Dakota wants to switch that, get the ball out of Mayo's hands. Good luck. Staying in there with Luke Apple <laughs> in favor of South Dakota State, certainly. They get it inside again to Moores here. Mayo, deep three. Over the outstretched hand of Caleb Stewart. Have to make decisions about who they're going to help off of. Isaac Bruns. Another tap out rebound for my own boom. They missed him. When he was out for four games with a knee injury, a little six from three. And shoot up and over Kyle for the bucket. But you wonder a little bit about with Stewart, too. He's not in rhythm in that first half. I agree with you 100% on that, Jay. So Apple guarded by Virgil. And Kyle's have thrown a few different guys at Luke Apple today. And nearly had it stripped away by Holt. Now he passes out of it. Mims. Puts it in drive, dishes off to Kyle. He goes up and under, and maybe got away with a walk. Well, he is a really good shooter and was a terrific scorer at the season he played at North Dakota before he came here, and we know in high school as well. So, And Hill comes in and strips away. They had three guys around him that time. And the hot tune just doing a good job being an intimidator in there. And there you go, you get Stewart. Maybe get them fired up a little bit here, too. And, and here's Mayo. Pulls up for three. There's Barnard to put back. Kyle's go inside with Chewin here. 
Definitely have done a better job getting some touches inside yes. to start the second half. Step back three for Hill. It's just growing in confidence by the day. Kyle, help from Hill, and he gets the block. So picked up by Isaac Bruns. That's a good job by USD as a team just shrinking the floor on Mayo. Kramer drops it off. Boom goes boom. Go, my own boom. Help get it started. Two-handed flush. Listen to it. Wrap it up inside the side the Sanford Kyle Sports Center now. It's just as electric as it's been at any point. He's three of six from deep. Yeah, probably one of the cleanest looks he's had today. Mayo has some distance. 14 points, 5 of 12 overall, 4 of 8 from deep. Isaac Bruns. So big loss without him on the floor. Kramer inside out, draws the defense, finds Burchill, who knocks it down from three. But they're just playing a lot more aggressive and forcing South Dakota State to have to help. Mayo just kind of last resort there. It didn't have anywhere to go. They just leaned into one. At San Diego where he was 6 of 13 from deep, Brad. And since then, 3 of now 30. And easily, meanwhile, knocks one down on the other end for South Dakota State. Just like well, South Dakota State is had some key offensive boards, eight of them now in this game, and that was a backbreaker there. Holtz has his shot blocked. June stayed in the Big Sky Challenge. Yeah, that's another one. To the wire, so yeah, hasn't been an easy road. June shot blocked that time by Kyle. Wow. That, yeah, certainly wasn't Holt, but yeah, I mean, as scrappy as this game has been, that's one that's kind of been let go a few times. Apple back out there trying to fit, fight through the discomfort. Yeah. We approach seven minutes to play in the ball game. Hill sidesteps Apple, drops it through again. That's four triples. Equally tough matchup for Hill here, having to try and stand in there against a very physical player in Apple. Boy, easily hits a tough shot there. That's the guy that came in shooting 52% from the line. Morris poked it away, lumbers down the floor, spin move for Morris through the contact of Hill and lays it in. That's him with the ball right there, but he's got to find a way maybe to start taking over this game offensively. Be a spark for them. He was on that 8-0 run. Charlie easily was all over that pass and an easy lay in the other way. South Dakota State has opened it up. Largest lead of the day for Charlie Easley. And you'll see this is an SDSU team. It's just really hard to turn over and speed up late game and boy how timely has Charlie easily been in this second half to go along with it deep three coming back from Hill I, you said it Brad I mean going forward this guy has to be on he the floor to. he's an offensive spark Hill's giving it to him back to back game now a double figure for him as Moore scores inside team that's exactly what happened Easily. Boy, it's Charlie Easley's world today. We're just living in it. Absolutely. He's got Mayo. Again for Zeke Mayo. He's in holding USD to 55 on their home floor. And a team that was coming in with some momentum after a big win against St. Thomas on Thursday as well.